and welcome back. Today I want to look at uh, some filing cabinet locks or maybe mailbox locks. I, I'm not certain which some of these are, but uh, um, either way, I thought we'd go over and cover a couple different kind of locks. Um, this one is um, either a mailbox lock or a cab filing cabinet. My guess is it's a filing cabinet lock. Um, it only turns a quarter of a turn uh, and it is key retaining. Um, but when it comes out, it is a five pin lock, which is kind of neat, um, but um, not a lot of security in a cabinet lock. Um, at least not this one. Um, I'll put it in the vise over here and uh, get that clamp down pretty good. Let's make sure that it does work. Yes, it does. Um, it only turns to the left, so uh, counterclockwise. So I have to pick this backwards, uh, counterclockwise. Um, but as you will soon see, um, I touch the top of a couple pins here, and this sucker literally pops open in seconds. Uh, don't put any important files <laughs> locking that one up. <laughs> but um, like I said, it's a filing cap lock. It's not that important. Um, this one, uh, looks pretty cool. Um, I'm wondering if it was a mailbox or, I mean, I guess it could have been a filing cabinet. Um, it is an Olympus, uh, at least the key is anyways. Um, it has a little, uh, line there, a lot like the, uh, Schlage, um, mountains, but it's not the same. Um, I'm gonna, you turn this key, uh, twice, or... Yeah, full rotation to get that to go down. Key does well, and when it's unlocked, the key does come out, so it is not key retaining. Um, let's get it in the vise here and see if we can get it open. Again, uh, top keyway. Um, same standard hook. Um, let's see what I can find in here. Um, again, all standard pins in this. Uh, and not a high security lock by any means. Um, I think I just got to click out of three and maybe two. Can't tell if I'm fighting off of a, I'm maybe, I think I'm fighting off that warding there. I'm actually getting a total click off of anything here. There we go. Bunch of small clicks, nothing. Uh, I'm just nudging those pins into place here. I'm missing one right underneath the tension wrench there. I've only got one more pin to set, but got overset is the problem. Let's try that again. And there you go. A little bit better. Get that turned all the way around. You can see it unlocks. And uh, wow, that was actually more of a chore than I expected out of that one. But um, not uh, not too hard. Um, it is. Open. I mean, I guess if that's a mailbox key, then that would be pretty good. This, on the other hand, is a very interesting lock. Um, it has, uh, it's a wafer lock. Um, so, and it does have bidding on the top and the bottom of the wafer. It has wafers on the bottom and the top up there. Um, I don't know if you 
guys can see that. I'm going to shine a little light in there. Kind of see the difference. It does not have pins in there um, to, uh, to pick. So... Well, at any rate, um, I think you guys have seen these locks before. Um, it is another one of those locks that only turns a quarter of a turn one direction. When it does, then this bar slides freely. You slide it off, and you can get in whatever you need to. Put it back on. Lock it up, and it will not come off there now. It will back. Once it's locked, you can tighten it up but you cannot go the opposite direction. So, and when it is uh, when it is unlocked, it is key retaining. So, it's kind of neat. Uh, get this in the vise and see if I can show you. Um, wafer locks are just like regular pen locks. This one's actually a wonder lock uh, made in Chicago, Illinois, which is kind of neat. Uh, put it in the vise and... Get a good view of this. Uh, I'll show you that that is locked. It is not, cannot pull that out. Um, again, I believe this is one I have to pick counterclockwise. Um, and I start the very same. I just go through. I'm going on the bottom now, uh, checking those wafers, pushing those down if there's any need to be pushed down. And then I go to the top, do the same thing. Uh, and you just pick it just like a regular uh, pen tumbler, um, searching for the binding wafer instead of a uh, pen. Uh, and because I think there's only like three or four on each side, top and bottom. I think I'm almost there. I just got a little bit of rotation on the core with that. And there it is, unlocked. I can pull that out. So, um, pretty cool. Um, wanted to show you guys that wafer locks are just like pen tumblers. Um, and uh, thank you for your time. Uh, uh, don't break the law. <laughs>